How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Flesh and Blood video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, we are diving into more Flesh and Blood conspiracy theories. This is number two in the Flesh and Blood conspiracy theory arc. We are diving into the card back conspiracy and whether or not it has been debunked or whether or not it still lives. That's right, everyone. Go bust out your tinfoil hats. Get your star charts and EMF readers because we are diving into the tantalizing world of flesh and blood conspiracy theories. Now, what is the card back theory? Now, the card back theory states that the flesh and blood sets are predetermined based on the card back here, and it goes in a counterclockwise manner, so, so this way, uh, around the card and predicts the sets. So... At the top, we have um, Monarch, right? So the top one symbolizes Monarch, and the very bottom one symbolizes Dusk Till Dawn. So we're starting at Monarch here. First of all, we're going to ignore the fact that it doesn't reference Welcome to Wraith uh, up till um, uh, Crucible of War. We'll push that aside. We'll push that aside. Uh, but top one is Monarch. Now, the second one down... On the left side is Tales of Aria. Then we have the dragon here that symbolizes um, Uprising. Below that, we have the spider symbol that symbolizes Outsiders. And then immediately after that, we have the symbol in the middle that everyone believes symbolizes Dusk Till Dawn. Of course, that doesn't... Uh, it, it kind of accounts for the supplemental sets in there with Everfest kind of going with the Aria bit. And the uh, dynasty going with the um, with with the uprising bit with the dragon here, and supposedly, if this was true, then the next set would have been Savage Lands, which is the point of like this. Like it's difficult to do, like this. Yeah, there you go, Savage Lands. We have Savage Lands here, and then above that we have this misty area that would be Mysteria, and then finally we have Metrics at the top. Well, with the announcement of bright lights we know that the next set is not uh is not uh, the savage ones we know it's going to be metrics does that mean this theory is busted well like any good conspiracy theory you can change it on the flip of a dime if it is proven wrong so now the theory states this is the new theory that you know it, it's just fall it's just you know maybe maybe we're gonna go back to the top so now, instead of going all the way to the bottom and having dust till dawn, well, maybe it's going to go down one side and then down the other side. Hey, like I said, like any good conspiracy theory, you could change it up a bit to fit the narrative. So now we're back up to um, a metrics here with bright lights. And then the next set, uh, Mysteria. And actually, I really do believe the next set is going to be Mysteria. And then after that, we have the Savage Lands. And then my theory... My theory here is that if this is true, we go Metrics, Mysteria, Savage Lands, and then the third and final of the Monarch Trilogy, because we do know three. three. We're going to have three Monarch sets. And now I talked about in the last Conspiracy Theory video how uh, I think one of the upcoming sets is going to be called Transcendence, and that set is going to be a Mysteria-themed set. Now, that theory, the word transcendence was in the flavor text of some flesh and blood cards, or one card in particular. And uh, we have seen that happen in other sets, like correlate to other sets, right? So we saw the words dusk till dawn, right? Um, on, I believe it was a uh, Soraya. So um, from Dynasty. So we have had cards predicting future sets before. We saw the words transcendence, that was like italicized. It really feels that that's going to be the name of a future set. And it definitely seems like it is going to be a Mysterian set because it is on a ninja card. I believe it is on the floating dojo card. And so the new card back theory, like I said, so it's now just going to go down the left side and then go back to the top and then go down the right side. Um, and I think this might actually have a little bit of credence going back to metrics, right? So we have uh, uh, bright lights. And then once again, I think we'll have transcendence and then we'll have a savage land set. And then finally... We go back to uh, War of the Monarch Part 3. Um, and that's that. That That's the theory. It's a pretty simple theory. 
It's one that people kind of, you know, have tossed out. I... We'll see. We'll see how, how this theory does. But based on a, an interview with Brian Gottlieb, one of the designers for Flesh and Blood, it really feels like they're kind of just going to be doing their own thing and um, seeing where the game goes and making sets accordingly. Uh, I think it's really interesting that uh, people think that Dust Till Dawn is on here. Seeing that, seeing as how Dust Till Dawn is like a reintroduction of some of the heroes that had Living Legend out. And if they're planning this set out uh, so much far in advance, I can't help but wonder if, one, they had different uh, characters in mind um, and then just put in, like, you know, the new Prism and as, you know, the replacement for Chain since they had Living Legend out. Um, or if that was already their intent you know, from, from the get-go, right? Uh, we, we do know we have a third um, set in the Monarch Trilogy at some point, and... Um, yeah, it could have all been planned out from the start, and it could have just been a, a nice place to put these cards. Um, something that I'm really interested in is seeing a replacement for the other heroes that have Living Legend out. We have Viserai in Blitz. We have um, Oldham, all, all, all that kind of stuff. So we'll see where this goes. I think the really telling thing will be after Bright Lights, which will be coming out soon, um, what the next set after that one is, if it is a Mysterian set, well, the the uh, theory is alive. But if we go from Metrics to to Savage Land, axed theory thoroughly axed. Um, and then I have some I have some of my own theories uh, in the future that are based off of nothing, absolutely nothing, but pure uh, tin foil hattedness, and that would be stuff like. Um, I foresee us going into Arathiel at some point and having like an Arathiel set where like the heroes are venturing into Arathiel. We already know Viserai is doing this. Uh, possibly either for the third Monarch set or post third Monarch set. I think the third Monarch set could be set in Arathiel, but we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here. Uh, that is the video for today. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you believe? Do you believe in the card back? Theory, the card back conspiracy. What do you think of the new card back conspiracy since uh, the, the previous uh, counterclockwise theory had been broken? Well, th now do you think it's down the side, down the side? I don't know. I don't know. It could be. It could be. We'll see. We'll see. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I appreciate all the support for any of the content that I put out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, go check out our uh, Patreon. You go check out the Discord. Discord is free. We have a great community there. Pe people playing all sorts of games. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.